Do babies appreciate the arts enough, Nick? They don't. I've always said that. And this is Matt Ford, Slam's parent, for bringing crying baby to Edinburgh Fringe Show. They didn't do the decent thing and leave, so I saw this trending the other day. Poor Matt Ford, who's a nice guy, he said, someone brought their baby to my show last night. Sadly, it derailed large parts of it because they wouldn't do the decent thing and just leave when it started crying. I get that it must be tough as a new parent, but please don't bring babies to adult shows. It's always a problem. Someone hit back on Twitter says, as long as you realise this is incredibly sexist, as young, breastfed babies can't be left at home. So, number one, don't go if you breastfeed. You, you can stay at home. Number two, yeah. how dare you assume that it's sexist? A man can breastfeed now, and we all know this. So that's just on that tweet. But, look, anyone who's done stand-up, which we all have, it's, it's a nightmare. You can't have, especially if you have a, a rhythmical, musical, sort of nuanced style like me, you can't have people just... <laughs> Leo's more of a sort of sledgehammer approach. But yeah, it, yours is like poetry. It is. I've got punchlines. It, it is. Mine's a sort of music, and you can't have people just... Babies well, look, crying. Even a child in the audience makes you uncomfortable because you're like, how have they got in? They're too young. I've... And then the parent will say, oh, I don't mind. Yeah, well, I do. And sometimes at Edinburgh, which I'm never going to do again, but you put an age limit, I'll put like 14 or 16 or something, So if you, which this would have had an age limit. I think it says it did. 14 plus years. So It's what, really what, rude is what it is. And I, I did a gig recently and it was a big gig. There were sort of a lot, like seven, 800 people there and there was a crying baby. And I had to, and I had to deal with it. I had to deal with the, the baby like it was a heckler. Was that trigonometry? Fair. It, wa- it wasn't. It was the, it was the association the, of babies. It wasn't. It was. Well, the, there was one at trigonometry, funnily enough. Oh, was there? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just. I, it winds me up because uh, now look, it's not sexist at all. As Julie Bindle, the feminist, pointed out on Twitter today, she men, said, men "This is about mi- this is about middle class entitlement." Right. That's what it's about, Stella right? Creasy s. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's a population crisis, and we're not going to encourage people to, to have babies if they can't go and see Edinburgh Fringe shows. I think what? people who have a stand-up community is pro babies interrupting. Yeah, I am. Them. I Come think on, you know, if they, if they pay for a ticket, if that, that's an extra twelve quid Shame. for me, then yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have money. babies there. I, I think told anybody. Your style is basically shouting. He can shout down any. Exactly. Baby. I can, I can deal a with a baby. Quite, well, okay, you, you can put the baby down, but the baby won't understand your put downs. You know, so he's not going to put down. Well, no, I, don't, yeah, I don't mean. Injected. Well, people, people were giving Jerry Sadowitz, uh, you know, people were criticising Jerry Sadowitz for exposing himself. And I think that's one way comedians can make sure that parents don't bring children in. But if they had, that would have been even worse, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd have been I, even think more that, I think just don't be selfish. If you've got a baby, stay at home. Or go to Leo's show, because he doesn't mind. He I might... don't mind, yeah. Just give right. me money. But there are those gigs where you can have a baby gig. There are people who oh, can, yeah. where you can bring your yeah, baby. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like you, screenings. Yeah, it's not like you can't see you can't see um, a stand up if you have a baby. There are even relaxed performances of theatre runs and all sorts yeah. of things. So just you know, be, be be fair. But also, it's quite amusing, isn't it, that Matt Ford is like the least offensive comedian ever. And now he, no yeah. one's no one's free from the cancel culture. <laughs> I don't think he's been cancelled, has he, Nick? This is Nick's cancelled. No, nope. he'll never work again. <laughs>